and your presence and your time and your vision and your strength and your courage because they need it. Yes. I think our women are tired <coughs> of being us. <laughs> They're tired of being us. They want to be them. They want to fall back and be feminine. And not be our Achilles heel. Because we're looking at them and saying, man, you kind of manly today. <laughs> well, I'm manly because you're not. <laughs> Let me bring the faith back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We're going we to turn you over to the gentle man of <laughs> God. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's a little unique. And let him speak grace on you and mercy and truth and uh, bring us to where we need to be. I had it uh, uh, pastor Elton come. For those of you that don't know, he is my brother-in-law. He is Pastor Carlos' brother. Uh, but he does an excellent job on the, what is it, the far west suburb, <laughs> uh, working for the Lord and, and just doing a tremendous job pastoring the church, he and his wife, um, in the Aurora Naperville area. And he has a, um, a, a great anointing for prayer and the prophetic. So I had him come uh, so that he could speak to us, not necessarily on prayer and the prophetic, but I told him whatever God lays on your heart, because I believe this is going to be a transformational time for us because of the season that we're in. Yes. We're in the season of reinventing, rebranding, and relaunching ourselves, not the, the church, ourselves, and presenting this new picture that Christ wants us to present an accurate picture of, of what we're called to do and who we are as the church. So that's the time that you're catching us in. Um, and I think it's I think this is going to send us out the right way to have a man of prayer and a man of the prophetic speak over our lives and leave an impartation. So I think you're going to be radically challenged and changed over this next two day uh, situation that we got going. So, because I've taken up an hour, <clears throat> I'm going to sit down. Yeah. Let's give Pastor Brian, Pastor Brian, over here with his good hand to us. Wow, that was phenomenal. Yes, Life changing. Awesome. Uh, before I go any further, I, I do want to do uh, the preliminaries. And uh, first of all, thanking uh, Pastor, I called him Apostle Brian, and uh, Pastor Carla. Uh, for inviting me to be here with you all. This is a, a privilege and an honor, and I haven't been here in quite a while. And so this is great. It's wonderful. I also want to thank uh, the men that came out from Zion. God bless you. Amen. Amen. All, all of you, I appreciate you coming and, and supporting me and uh, being here. It means a lot. It really means a lot. Now, to the brothers that are here, thank you for having me. Um, one of the things that your pastor said a, a moment ago that was just so profound was we don't hear enough about how much we matter. And I want you to tell the person next to you, in front of you, you matter. Just let them know. You matter. You matter. You all matter. It, it is important. Amen. Uh, I need to know how much time I have. But, um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my time has been evaporated for, for good me. Amen. Uh, but uh, I think those were seeds that have been sown, and we can grab hold to that. I'm telling you, it was important. I, I uh, remember reading the book, uh, Willie Lynch. I got, I got the book years ago uh, because I was pursuing Islam. And um, but before I got saved, and one of the books that they uh, made sure that I, I got to read was Willie Lynch. That was to help to set my course and never look back. And so I got it, I put it on the shelf, and I didn't read it for several years. And when I did, it was a mind blower. It was, it was the perfect time. You need to buy resources. You really do. You need to get resources. Ask God what resources to, to get 
And uh, sometimes it may not be right then and there that you're to read them. It may be a week later, two years later, three years later, but that day that I read that particular book, when, when you mentioned it, um, I said, my mind went right back to the time I pulled it off the bookshelf, sat on the side of my bed, and I said, this is answering more questions for me than um, I have had answered in a very, very long time. And so uh, it is, it's, it's a very good read. I think that we need to, uh, and I concur with you, to um, walk through it with our children But do it in a, in, a, in a very specific kind of way, uh, making sure that we don't sow hatred, but we're out to sow wisdom. We want to make them wise. We want them to be wise as to why those things uh, did occur, and uh, what is, and, and it brings insight, it brings light, it brings understanding. How many of you know that light is truth? So it brings truth uh, to a lot of the things that they'll see. It will help to bring definition. And so it is. It, it's good. Um, some of you know I, I, I have all kinds of movies um, across the Atlantic. It's a very good movie. Uh, it really brings uh, some understanding as to what happened in the whole slave trade, what really transpired there. Because we've been sold a bill of goods, again, certain resources that you read. I have, a, I have a separate library that you wouldn't find most resources in if you went to your regular bookstore. Uh, but that's because I was pursuing uh, some things. And so this one bookstore is right here at 95th or 95th and Western had some really good books. Uh, we're not trying to indoctrinate anyone tonight to become um, uh, black Israelites, <laughs> amen, black Muslims. Uh, no, that, that's not the, the purpose of this meeting, but it is to, to shift us, to wake us up, to cause us to begin to see what it means to be a man, a godly man, a kingdom man. And so we have, and let me throw this in here, an authentic man. That's, that's very important. And so I'm very, very grateful uh, for what we uh, accumulated as it relates to knowledge. I was sitting there, I was thinking, wow, I'm pressing towards 60. And uh, there's been years where I always thought, I, I, up until maybe last, I didn't have a whole lot to say. And, uh, you know, I walk around and, and people are calling me, sir. And that blows me away. I know you probably experienced the same thing, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, whatever you want, sir. Have your way, sir. And uh, young pastors will ask me, uh, could you please help me? I'm starting my ministry. I don't have it. And I'm thinking, I feel like I'm starting mine. But when I really step back to take a look, the way that information has always been shared is that one generation would pour information into the next generation. And that, that information was disseminated to make their lives better. So whoever gave us information, and we received a lot, um, but it came on the heels of, of, of the pressure, the pain, uh, a lot of the uh, stuff that they went through, they began to give it to us for the sole purpose of making our lives better. I, I wanna say this, don't run out of the fire. Uh, I, I may not make your life feel better tonight. You may not feel you know, real good, but it will work. You will change. Things will, 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 will really begin to make sense and the stuff will break off of us because piggybacking off of uh, 